climate change talks has always been very important for the Philippines. Climate change, uh, uh, especially its adverse impacts, is uh, affecting lives and livelihoods in my country and other vulnerable countries. So we care about solving climate change, and uh, that is an imperative for, for our country. I believe you've taken some personal action at this meeting. Can you explain uh, what you're doing in protest to well, I, as I mentioned uh, in uh, the opening day of uh, this COP, I have commenced my voluntary fasting for the climate. Uh, this is, uh, of course, in solidarity with uh, thousands of Filipinos who are struggling to secure food in the face of the aftermath of Super Typhoon Haiyan, uh, as well as my brother who was stuck in the area uh, and was, uh, had, lit, had, had, had to also to struggle for food uh, in the last uh, three days, uh, in the first three days of the disaster. And uh, we also made some specific demands. Uh, and uh, we are fasting because we want a meaningful outcome here in Warsaw, a meaningful outcome for us. Primarily now, would, would, I, I, would, I would think that there are top two things that we will want to see here in Warsaw. First is the uh, progress on the discussion on loss and damage. And I think the motivation for the Philippines is very obvious when we talk about putting in place a mechanism to prevent loss and damage and also the, a, a platform that can compensate countries that are already incurring losses. The other thing, of course, is uh, on finance, which is uh, to be able to clarify without any doubt what the commitments are from rich countries so that countries like my country can adapt and cope with the ravages of climate change. So I'd just like to clarify, are you taking water but no food for the last three days? Yes, I am taking water, no food now for the fourth day. This is the fourth day of uh, the fasting. How are you feeling? Yeah. I am in very high spirits. I, I, I think I even feel uh, greater than, uh, better than uh, when I arrived in Warsaw. Um, so uh, I, I think the fasting, uh, as, as, as many people say, is good for anyone's soul. Uh, and uh, this has uh, given me a lot of... Uh, inner, inner uh, strength as well, and uh, I'm very happy uh, to, to, to say that uh, at this fourth day of the fasting, I feel very good. Uh, I believe you've been joined by others in solidarity. Do you know how many people are also fasting? I have a vague idea of uh, how many people have sympathized with us in, 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 in the fasting. I am not directly uh, in coordination with those who are doing it, uh, but from what I gather, probably hundreds now have joined uh, the fasting, uh, hundreds of delegates are, are now fasting uh, also together with us. Um, uh, and uh, we're, we're really focused as well on, on the work that we're doing here. So. Um, I really also have a vague idea of what's happening out there in terms of uh, the kind of uh, support that has been galvanized by uh, our sacrifice. Some of your supporters have been concerned that you might get tired through the talks, especially as uh, it's not generally until the end that we start to see solutions. I mean, isn't uh, there a concern that you might not have strength to um, make uh, good decisions towards the end. I think on the contrary, uh, a lot of evidence show that uh, if you don't have food in your stomach and uh, if you have uh, managed or have learned to adapt to having no food for many days, your, your senses uh, get sharper and your mind becomes more alert. So our partners in these negotiations better watch out because I will be more alert uh, in the coming days. And uh, your alert um, uh, analysis of the talks so far, I mean, how are you seeing loss and damage, especially panning out? Um, do you see uh, progress? We're very optimistic that we will get loss and damage here in Warsaw. That is uh, uh, something that we care about and something that we think uh, developed countries uh, and developing countries alike uh, could come to a common ground and, uh, and uh, eventually within this uh, COP here in Warsaw, 
uh, we can arrive at uh, a mechanism uh, that would be uh, realistic and that would be able to address the needs of uh, many vulnerable countries. Can you explain that mechanism for the people at home who don't follow the talks? Um, is it uh, money or is it more an insurance mechanism? How will it work um, for you to end your strike for action? Right now, within the negotiations, there are, there are various components to this mechanism, but uh, the words loss and damage should be self-explanatory. It basically represents a third wave of climate change when countries are no longer able to adapt and therefore incur losses and damages because of extreme events as well as slow onset events like the rising of sea levels, storms, uh, droughts, uh, and uh, warmer temperatures that lead to crop failure. These are the impacts that we talk about. And the loss and damage mechanism would allow countries who are coping with climate change, first and foremost, a network of knowledge that can prevent losses. It can also uh, include, it will also include risk uh, transfer mechanisms like insurance. And uh, I think uh, the most contentious uh, component of uh, the mechanism is compensation, where uh, the losses will be calculated on the basis of uh, responsibility. And uh, countries who are responsible for climate change will have to provide compensation for countries like my country that's already incurring damages. How do you reassure people that that cost won't escalate? Because obviously it's something quite difficult uh, to pin down who is responsible and some country, developed countries have been worried that uh, it will mean a lot of money for them. How do you reassure people in those countries and how, how will you convince them that uh, this is a policy that is good for them as well? Uh, we know and we are not so naive to think that our the economies of every country, economies around the world are not interconnected. So we are all connected, our economies. And uh, every dollar of investment used to reduce, uh, to, to reduce risk uh, would, would mean uh, getting back $4 or you have it fourfold or even fivefold. So anything that is done in order to prevent losses is actually uh, a good investment. And in the context of compensation, the, I think uh, the calculation that will be done in the, on the basis of uh, the mechanism uh, will allow us to provide uh, that uh, analysis uh, once, once that mechanism is in place. How long do you expect uh, the fast to continue? I am hoping that I can break my fast uh, soon enough uh, and see progress in the negotiations. Uh, of course, it's too early to uh, see that uh, the technical issues are still being sorted out, but I'm ready to go until the end of the COP if, if, it's, uh, as long as it, uh, if, if that is how long it takes. How are you feeling um, at this stage? Uh, I think you said that uh, the beginning is the toughest? Yes, from, from what I'm gathering from friends who have been advising on fasting, uh, the first four days would be the toughest, and uh, this is the fourth day, so I think uh, the next few days would be uh, a lot easier, and, uh, and uh, the objective to uh, go fasting until we see progress here. I think we can last until uh, more than a week. Do you think you're getting sympathy from people back home, um, irrespective of their governments? I have reason to believe that the message we have so emphasized here have resonated in many communities, uh, as well as homes and businesses and, and governments. I have little basis uh, to be able to gauge that from where we are right now, but uh, I, I, would, I, would, I would hope that uh, we have reached uh, the consciousness of many people. The US says that um, loss and damage is a red line. Um, how do you propose to get them over that red line? Now that's a tough question because uh, that will really depend on the give and take within the negotiations. But I think the backdrop of a tragedy like what we have right now can help us uh, move forward and uh, 
do our work here with all e eagerness and urgency. So that might prove to be very helpful as a, the, as a, as a, as a uh, providing the right kind of environment for, uh, for parties to engage constructively and engage uh, in a straightforward manner.